welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be continuing on with Lego Harry Potter. Start for the diversions from the days or weeks or whatever. Um, anyway, uh, today we're going to be saving Sirius Black from Azkaban Prison, which for those who don't know. Um, okay, I did some research on it a while back, but I forgot the complete details, but... Azkaban Prison was originally the home of a sadistic idiot who, or criminal, I guess you could say, um, who just loved tormenting people. And he created the, uh, Dementors, I think, as bodyguards. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Uh, and when he died, Okay, well, the Azkaban prison was originally, um, used a cloaking spell or whatever, so nobody could find it, but when he died, the place became visible, and the, uh, founders, uh, the people in charge of the government of the wizarding world didn't know what to do to the mentors and didn't know how to get rid of them or anything, so they just used it as a prisoning place. And as so long as they have souls to eat, um, they can't, they won't be bothering too much. As until Voldemort or Tom Riddle, Tommy, came, came in the works. That would prefer a backstory movie series on Harry's parents more than a future movie on that one. And that's just my perspective. They're making an... I saw a trailer a while back, like uh, last year or something, saying that, uh, or earlier this year, that Harry Potter 9 is going to be coming out and it's not going to be based off of the books of what I've seen. So I, know. I could be wrong, I haven't read any of the books, so... Whatever. So, that's all I know about that one. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking of, uh, maybe I'll take a small break from Lego Harry Potter when I finish year four, which is, we're going to be entering that after next video, because the next video is going to be the ending to, to, to year three. Right now I'm struggling on year four because of the underwater trial. I have no idea what I'm about to be doing. There's some chains on some rocks or whatever, and I'm supposed to get past them, but I uh, haven't found a way to get past them. We'll do some looking. I just don't like using shortcuts all that much on stuff because I, I like figuring things out for myself. I don't like uh, people telling me what to do on how to figure it. It's more rewarding when you figure this out, a tool you have to use, a math problem you uh, are trying to do, or whatever. I just feel better that way, okay? So that's why some of these times I might take a break from video. Although I will give in every once in a while, okay? So anyway, the uh, but the uh, oh man, I don't really have anything scripted. <laughs> Everything just comes off right off the top of my head. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty much all I can do about. Uh, oh well, next year I'm planning if I can get my console was working, get a capture card. I'm planning on doing a original Harry Potter marathon. I mean, like, there, okay, back in the, back when I was a kid during the PlayStation 1 through 2 and 3 era, Harry Potter had its own game for each movie. Like, there was one game specifically based off of Harry Potter's Sorcerer's Stone, or Philosopher's Stone, as the book calls it. And Deathly Hollow Part 2, every movie between that had their own game. 
and spin-off, like this one about Quidditch. Uh, it might be because I'm not into sports, but I never really cared for Quidditch. It's... Uh, sports, the game itself is just fine, but... Whatever, it's just not my thing. Okay. So, that's just how I do with it. <laughs> Oh boy. So we're gonna keep on. So then, uh, this will be the end of the video, I think. I uh, yep. Oh, uh, like, subscribe, share the video. I really appreciate it. Uh, helps out the gate past the YouTube algorithm. And I take suggestions on any games that are rated E10 plus or younger, uh, meaning E10 plus, meaning the elephant letter E. Um, and since this is a kid friendly channel, I do broadcast on Mondays through Wednesdays when I'm available to. Okay, catch y'all in the next video. Bye.